the blues. 101.9. Dog FM with a step and wolf and move over. Dylan Black, Alyssa Del Palm. It is 9-12 on a Tuesday morning. Such a pleasure to be joined right now. Uh, he's in Toronto and his name, Rick Mercer. Good morning, good Rick. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? We're good. So good to have you guys uh, a, a part of what we're doing here now. The Rick Mercer Report and uh, CBC. Uh, you got the, the new show. Is this the 10th season this going on? This is our 10th season. Yeah, isn't that amazing? Did you ever think it was good to, it would get to this point? Well, people do less time for manslaughter. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's worked out well. You know, I, I, I believe when I did the first year that I had the best job in the country. I still believe I have the best job in the country. Every week I get to travel around to a different part of the country, generally twice. I get to meet interesting people, show them off to the rest of the country, maybe take a beautiful part of the country, show it to another part of the country. It's, uh, it's a good gig. Mm-hmm. And over 1.7 million Canadians tune into your show weekly. They tune in because I'm on twice a week. This is the future of broadcasting in yeah. Canada. More and more reruns, but I'm on uh, you know, uh, Tuesday night, 8 o'clock, and then, uh, and then Friday night as well. Okay. So what can we look forward to tonight? Uh, tonight is an excellent... I had a great time because uh, I, I finally had on the show Adam Vancouverton, who I'm a big fan of. He's a kayaker. Mm-hmm. He's Canada's one of Canada's greatest athletes. He holds a bronze medal. He holds two silvers and a gold from the Olympics. He has the Guinness Book of World Records record for being the fastest man in a kayak. He's the current world champion. And he trains in Algonquin Park, which is a tremendously beautiful part of the, the province, of course. And uh, imagine, he trains in Algonquin Park. So we waited till the fall colors were on bust, and this is in one of the best years for fall and uh, fall colors and we went to Algonquin and got some kayaks and I got a lesson and we raced and uh, and it was just a great day mm-hmm. and he's ridiculous looking he's so good looking it's like the moose stop and take pictures of him <laughs> I mean just looking at him in the kayak it's like, right. why don't you just stop and go to Hollywood like what are you out here rolling around for yeah well it helps your ratings for sure uh, with all those good looks without a doubt get the ladies tuned in Rick well, maybe, eh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, it, some of the highlights of the season, though. I mean, were, you were. I loved it when you were on the roller coasters at Canada's Wonderland. Yeah, I'm not a roller coaster guy, but I think I am now. I went on the Leviathan, but mm-hmm. I'm not a fear. Like I'm not a guy who goes out looking for adrenaline rushes. But it just happens that way. I mean, also tonight I go to the Rockton Fall Fair, which is an agricultural fair. And you'd think, okay, Rick's going to hang out with alpacas and chickens and sheep and that kind of business and meet some farmers. And but, of course, it's a fall fair, but they, at, in the evening, they have a demolition derby. And they have 5,000 people show up for this demolition derby. And I went there, and next thing you know, I was in the rollover contest, which is a contest where you get in a car, and then you drive it into the ring. You start way down the street. You drive it into the ring as fast as your beat-up car will go. Mm-hmm. Then you hit a ramp only on your two left tires. And then when you get to the top of the ramp, you crank the wheel, and then you flip off the top of the ramp. And you were driving? Car- yeah, this is how they flip cars in the movies. Wow. And you get two points per side. And if your car is still mo- running when you land on the tires, if you're lucky enough to land on your tires and not your roof, you get an extra two points. Well, that's, that's <laughs> two I don't think there's points. any skill involved in keeping your motor running, really. That's in God's hands at that point. But yeah. uh, it was a good time. Oh, it sounds good. Of course, you got the photo challenge going on at your website as well, rickmercer.com. It looks like Gary Bettman's doing something that people are definitely going to comment on here. Well, the, the photo challenge is just, it's complete childish fun, really. Mm-hmm. We put up a picture, and then hopefully people at work take time. Yeah. They get out the Photoshop, and they just mess with the pictures. And uh, and it's something that I started years ago as a joke, you know, just, just to see how it worked. And it's an extremely popular, very childish part of the show. And uh, I tell you, you put up a picture of a guy like Gary Bettman. There's yeah. a lot of people uh, with a lot of time on their hands. I bet. A lot, a lot of stuff you probably can't air as well uh, on TV. Well... <laughs> But that goes on the website. Yeah, oh, nice. <laughs> there you go. RickMercer.com is the website. And, of course, the show, The Rick Mercer Report, again tonight, a new uh, episode at 8 on uh, CBC. Rick Mercer, what a pleasure. Thank you for joining us Thank here. Thank you. 101.9 Dog FM.